Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're here with Qualcomm taking a look at uh, some demo systems with their new Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 series uh, processors. It's going to be coming out in the um, first half. Later of, half, yeah. yeah uh, first half of, the, uh, of 2013. It's a quad core uh, chip, runs up to 2.3 gigahertz. This one runs at 1.5. This runs at 1.5. Later, they'll go, Later they'll go up faster. Uh, it has new Adreno 330 graphics. Uh, and, um, on Android using the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 800. <laughs> and since I'm getting the audio there anyway. Um, so we've got Adreno 330 graphics. Graphics. It offers a uh, performance boost on the graphics side. We've got a boost on the uh, CPU side. So what are we looking at here in terms of what So that what means? we're looking at is this is, a, this is an internal demo that we developed inside Qualcomm just to kind of show the power of this thing. And so you can see that you know this is a real this is a real demo. It's interactive. It's not a movie. It's running at 30 frames a second in in, in HD. Uh, you can touch the cloth. You know it is interactive. You can see the reflections. And we and what we're doing is we've, we're showing a load balance. So if I turn on the core usage, you can see that. You know, the cores are being used to do the cloth and the water, and the GPU is being used to render everything. We've got real-time reflections, we've got depth of field effects, we've got bloom effects, we got you know, we got all the bells and whistles. We've got particle systems. Let me just turn that off to get it out of the way. We've got kind of some, some canned demos that we can do. So if I click this button, you know, it causes the, 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 the dragon to come down. Um, this is where he's going to roar, and we've got audio on the DSP. We've got positional audio. We've got surround sound, that kind of thing. It's all, it's all in there. And it, even though it is canned, I can't pause it if I wish, you know, and I can, you know, I can look around and, and see whatever. I and mean, it's being rendered in real, it's in real rendered. time, it's even though it's a demo. It's being rendered yeah. in real time. I just, you know, we just, you just let it run, and then the camera's in the right spot to get the most dramatic effect, and he does what he says. But the demo is, you know, he, he flies off, and kind of the scene resets. All the little dragons are going to come flying back in, you see, and the big dragon will come land on his tower. And now we're kind of back to the steady state, you know, play with the play with the demo, do whatever you want. He's got another kind of canned action sequence that we can do here, um, where they come in and, and, and breathe fire. And notice the lighting. You see the, the, the yellow environment light from the thing come on. So these are all just little graphics tricks that, that you can do because the thing is so powerful. The GPU is so powerful. Uh, this just shows in wireframe mode all the different triangles that are being rendered. Again, 60 frames or 30 frames a second. You know, in, in, in high depth. But again, it's uh, uh, it's it's just not canned. It's it's real time. You can let him finish his little uh, sequence, and he'll, he'll and this fly is, off. And this is a demo game that's meant to, to highlight it. But uh, it's not really a game. It's, it's just a, it's just a, a, a graphics demo. Graphics, but yeah. you're exactly right. But you, know, but you know, we've also got you know uh, Batman uh, Dark Knight Rises over here, which is a real game you can download right now. But this is a version that's been optimized to uh, add a little bit to take advantage of the uh, the graphics effects. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna skip the uh, movie because we just finished the uh, yeah the last chapter here. And you know, and we know we can play movies. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. Come on. What we're looking at here, I mean, these are prototype tablets, right? These aren't actually. Yes. What, what what these are is these are the same chip that's going to go in commercial devices, but but the commercial devices aren't ready. So Qualcomm makes these. They're called development kits, um, and we can and we can hand these out, and then they can do their work on them okay. and be ready when the when the chip actually. Sure. What we're watching here, I guess, is Batman getting his butt kicked. Is, uh... Yeah, because you know, because I'm not paying attention, but you know, it's it's uh, you know, you can see him. I'm not very good at this game. That's fine, but. But, you know, I can throw batterings at him. You know, he can move around, he can jump off stuff. It's, it's, a, it's the dual, it's the standard, you know, dual joystick. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, this one's look, one's look and one's move around. So standard and then, and then when special event buttons come up, you do a good pop on them. And, uh, like I said, and, they, and they've done some special optimizations. This is something Game, Game Loft has already optimized this, so basically, yeah. Once these chips are available on day one, we're going to see this and probably a lot of other games yes. that are going to be optimized. Yes. Absolutely. Um, so you can play them on a device that doesn't necessarily have the bleeding edge processor, but they'll look a little bit better yeah. if, you, yeah. if you do get one of those devices. So. That's, that's correct. The racing game over here as well. Yeah, and then, and then that's the other the other uh, game loft game, Asphalt Seven. Asphalt Seven. Uh, and what you know. Our chips also support uh, Bluetooth devices, so this is actually a Bluetooth controller. Uh, the little USB Bluetooth is in the back, stuck in the base, um, just because this particular device doesn't have the, the jack. But yeah, that's just a standard off-the-shelf Logitech controller. You don't want to push in that. Any, any, any Bluetooth controller would work.